And that brings me to the real fun part where I'm able to be creative and edit my book. This page provides a preview of your book and allows you to customize each page individually. Customizing your photo book is extremely easy. Just take the photo that you like and drag it onto the frame of the page. To navigate to another page, just click the next page or previous page on your toolbar. To change the page layout, just click on layout, drag and drop it onto the page, and you have a brand new layout. To change any page's background, you can click on background, and we'll get some roses, and then we drag that onto the page, and the background is now changed as well. To replace an existing photo, simply drag a new photo onto the old photo, and it will be replaced. To delete a photo that you don't want, just click the red X, and it's gone. To unlock a photo from the template, click on the photo frame, and then click on the lock icon to unlock the photo. When unlocked, the photo can be dragged around the page. It can also be resized by clicking and dragging the bottom right-hand corner. You can also add a floating photo to a blank area of the page. This is a very helpful feature for making collages and adding more photos to the standard template designs. Just click on a photo, drag and drop it onto an empty area of the page, and you have a new design for that page. To further edit your photos, click on the magic wand icon. The change image dialog box will appear showing a preview of your photo. Here you can zoom and crop, rotate, or flip the image. Clicking on the advanced tab will allow you to apply basic editing images and edge effects, such as drop shadow, add a border, change some of the color, change the transparency. You can even adjust the layering order of the photos and all of your changes will instantly be shown. Once you're done and you're satisfied with your editing, just click done and all of your changes will appear. Now I'm going to add some text to a page. Now I first need to click on a text frame. And then I need to click on the big T icon and a text dialog box will appear where you can add your text and then customize it. So I will add some text and then I can customize by changing the font size, by changing the font. I can actually change the color, change the, whether it's bold or italic, I can change the positioning, I can add some drop shadow. If I want to see what this looks like, click preview. If you're satisfied and you're happy, click done. And again, your changes will appear. Continue filling the rest of the pages with photos and text and art. And don't worry, your book is automatically saved every step of the way, so you cannot lose any changes. Now the toolbar above the preview area also contains various functionality for working with your book. Here, you can click the Start Over button. Now be careful, as this will delete your album and you will truly have to start over. You can also add a page by clicking Add Page, Delete a Page, or if you click Arrange, you can actually rearrange the pages in your book. Click Price and you'll get the current price of the book. And then if you click Preview, you will see an animated preview of your book as it will appear when your book is complete.